So the dangers of backcountry skiing are well known, but there's a new and relatively unknown risk for skiers and boarders who head to the slopes. Well, tonight, Chief Investigative Reporter Tony Kovaleski takes us inside a recent court decision that's changed the legal landscape for millions of people who visit Colorado ski resorts. It's a very dangerous precedent. It's a document filled with small print. There's no incentive for ski areas to function safely if there's no civil liability that attaches to their wrongdoing. A document with big words. If this ruling stands, absolutely skiers will be at greater risk. And a document now with a new meaning. And informed sources say it now carries even greater risks. Does this ruling essentially give blanket immunity to the ski resort? Yes. You're hearing insight from three of Colorado's most respected attorneys. All three have represented skiers. All three have held ski resorts accountable for the unthinkable. Fail resort officials say a man died on the mountain yesterday. I think it's really important that skiers understand they are now at risk anytime they get on a chairlift. What's your reaction to this ruling? I'm appalled and I'm frightened. The attorneys are all responding to this court decision handed down in the final hours of 2020. Judges from the Colorado Appeals Court in a two to one vote expanded protections for ski resorts and removed protections for skiers. The decision means when you agree to the waiver on your ski pass or ski ticket, the holders agrees to assume all risks, holders agrees not to sue. You are now releasing ski resorts from any and all liability from injuries, including chairlifts and gondolas. In the first paragraph of the decision, the judges note skiing is one of the state's biggest tourist activities and supports not only the ski area operators, but also businesses. It's important that we recognize how the ski industry does affect the economy, but it's also important to recognize how it can destroy a family's life. She said that Kelly didn't make it. One of the worst things I've ever, ever had to hear. Bill Huber got that call four years ago. Kelly Huber and his two daughters violently ejected from a lift at Ski Granby Ranch. Someone went down again, someone. Kelly Huber was killed and his daughters seriously injured. Their legal attempt to hold the ski resort accountable remains unresolved. We've got to be diligent and we've got to be consistent in providing the safety and the security for operations such as ski resorts. It's imperative because no family and certainly no two daughters ever have to experience this ever. Are you concerned that this decision may impact that case? Bruce Braley represents the Huber family. He recognizes the recent Court of Appeals decision in what is known as the Redden case extends to all ongoing litigation. I would be naive if I wasn't concerned about the potential impact of the Redden decision on that case. He was doing something he loved. He was doing something that, you know, he trusted would be safe. And instead, it, it came to take his life. Last February, Cameron Varnish's dad, Jason, was killed riding a chairlift at Vail. Officially, the coroner determined he died from positional asphyxia when he became entangled by his clothing that appears to have been caught on a portion of the chairlift. Published reports say the chair on the lift was in the upright position and not snapped in place. I can't even imagine what he was thinking, you know, as, as a piece of equipment failed him and, and killed him, that it should never happen. And the attorney representing Cameron and his family also fears the potential impact the Redden ruling could have on their legal call for accountability. Do you expect the ski resort to hold up this ruling and say your claim needs to go away? I would hope, given the facts and circumstances of the Varnish case, that they wouldn't do that. There was gross negligence. But I've been doing this for over 41 years, and I suspect that uh, Vail and their lawyers very likely will be waving the Redden case in our direction. So in the shadow of this new court ruling, it makes me a little nervous. Skiers and boarders now face a new frontier of risk. It's a little scary. And a brand new meaning to that small print and those big words. I never noticed that before. 
Holder agrees to assume all risks and Holder agrees not to sue. The Redden decision is a step in the wrong direction and I think people deserve to know about that. We're gonna keep fighting. This isn't over. By saying the fight isn't over, the Huber and Varnish families are asking the Supreme Court to review and overturn that lower court decision. Their attorneys asking the Supreme Court to incentivize safety. We also reached out to Vail and the state's largest ski area trade association. Because that Redden case is on appeal, both declined to comment. I'm Chief Investigative Reporter Tony Kovaleski.